For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem where they want you to determine the components of reaction at the fixed support A and neglect the thickness of the beam. So this problem becomes uh, very easy because you only got reactions at A. So let's say we got a vertical reaction going up because all these forces are coming down, including the 400 Newton force. And you have a reaction, obviously, to the left. Let's call this AY. Let's call this AX. To the left because the 400 Newton force is going to the right, but it's not very hard to find. So you know that sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero. You got AX going to the left, so AX, let's say minus, assuming this orientation plus 400 times the cosine of 30 is equal to zero. So AX right off the bat is 346.4 newtons, of course. Some of the forces on the Y is equal to zero. In the Y, we got a Y coming up, minus 200, and we got 200 times three. I'm not gonna write minus 200 three times, that's just done. Minus 400, times the sine of 30, which is the y component of this 400 newton force, and the x component will be this one. Hopefully by th this time you have a good grasp of this. You get that ay is equal to 800 newtons. So we got two reactions right off the bat. The last reaction you want to find is the reaction moment. So the reaction moment will be something like this. Let's call that m at a, that's a reaction moment. Why did I make it counterclockwise on this way? Because, let me do a new layer for this so I can draw all over this. Look at the 200 Newton forces. They're trying to turn this, each, each one is trying to turn this uh, assembly clockwise. And the 400 Newton force is going kind of down, kind of to the side. The one that's going to the side the, the X component is trying to turn it clockwise and the component that's going down is also trying to turn it clockwise. So as you can see, we got five forces acting on the spin. Well, we have uh, four forces actually, and uh, this force diagonally has two components. That's why I said five. Every single component is trying to turn this assembly clockwise. Therefore, the reaction moment has to be counterclockwise. You need to start thinking like an engineer and start to see all these things. If you were to draw the moment backwards, it's fine. It's just that when you build your equations, your answer is going to be negative, And then you know you just got to turn it around. Because sometimes you assume things, but then you realize something as you do it. So it's no biggie. But get into the habit of seeing all these details, please. It's going to be good for you as in your career. Try to become very observant. So, as you can see, this is why I drew the moment at A going, the reaction moment at A going counterclockwise. So, assuming counterclockwise is positive, the moments at A are equal to zero, of course, and are equal to the moment, the reaction moment at A minus. Now, the the first 200 uh, is making a moment of 200. Make another layer because this is gonna get messy, and it's trying to turn the lever arm that goes from A all the way to here. Now what is this distance? That distance is this distance right here plus one meter. So it's gonna be three cosine of 60, this angle 60 right here. So we're trying to find basically from A to right here. That's three cosine of 60 plus one because this is one meter given right here minus 200 times the second one is turning the lever arm that goes all the way to here so it's three cosine of 60 plus two so one two meters and you can see where this is going let me write it down here because i'm running out of space minus 200 times three cosine of 60 plus three trying to turn this lever arm and they're all trying to turn it clockwise so it's so it's a negative because we're assuming that kind of clockwise is positive. And last but not least, we have, uh, actually we have two more moments that we have to, we have to write down. We have the 400, which is trying to turn the same lever arm right here, which is 
this component right here so it's minus 400 sine of 30 because we only want the y component times let's times this the same distance 3 cosine of 60 plus 3 it's acting on the same lever arm as the previous one and we're missing one more component which is the x component don't forget this one which is turning this lever arm right here which has a distance of 3 sine of 60 so it's 400 cosine of 30 that gives us the force times 3 sine of 60 and that it's a minus also because they're all going against the reaction moment so as you can see it's just a bunch of numbers guys plug them into your calculator and solve for ma and you're gonna get that ma is equal to 3900 newton meters and it's positive so obviously it's going counterclockwise so final answer for the reaction moment fi final answer for the y component of the reaction at a and final answer for the x component of the reaction at a Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.